Hey guys, welcome aboard. So uh, I've been meaning to do this video for quite a while, but what I wanted to do is show you how to edit uh, Ortho 4XP uh, tiles so that you get a little bit better view of uh, some of the water area. So what you can see right here is we're in San Diego. Um, we're just above Mission Bay Park here. And uh, you can see, let me scroll around here a little bit. You can see that the what happens is that the, sort of the default mask uh, here's a good example right here. Kind of just it just goes off the coastline a little bit, right? But it doesn't include everything sort of in the center right here. And what you end up with is you end up stuff like this. See, here's this a marina area, and all of it is sort of cut out, right? Um, and that's because it only masks off the water, and then it only goes so far uh, off of the coastline. And, you know, same thing right over in this area here. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to show you how to uh, jump into uh, Ortho 4XP here. Let me go ahead and bring up my other my other screen here, and I'm going to show you how to edit that tiles to make it look better. So I'm going to grab my other display here, and you can see here I'm I'm in Ortho 4XP, um, and just for yours might be set up a little bit different here, but uh, if you take a look, I'm just going to select my um, my main directory where I have all of my uh, scenery files there and if we bring up our map here let me scoot that over here all right so here you go here's all the tiles that I have done and we can see down here that in San Diego it's this tile right here so if I just double click on it here um, it's 32 118 okay so that's all that's all we're gonna do here in ortho 4 XP we're just gonna t make sure we're looking at the right tile okay so let me go ahead and close that out and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our scenery scenery directory uh, mine happens to be right over here custom scenery and then uh, my ortho 4 XP and I went into the 32 118 and then went into textures okay and here is all of the actual images that it uses to do the uh, you know the overlay so that this is all of them right here and if you take a look you c you might have to hunt around a little bit here it just depends on the the actual tile and what sort of waterway you're trying to edit right here but um, and of course I'm looking at it on my smaller screen but let me let me try to find one here that uh, uh, that has the actual Mission Bay Park area so we're gonna go from the top here I'm just kind of skimming through uh let's see here we find one that's a coastline let's take a look at this one here we're going to bring that over uh no that's the bay right there so we don't want that keep on looking here uh let's see here looks like the inlet so right here i'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this and kind of scroll over you can see that there's actually some nice waves and stuff all around here okay and uh, that's just that one section okay so let's keep looking for more tiles here and uh, let's see here's a tail end of mission bay and you can see there's water over here um there's some boats over in this area a little bridge that goes uh, across there all of that stuff is kind of getting wiped out uh because it's getting masked off right so if you kind of scroll down to the bottom here you'll have these funny looking ones here and these are the actual masks and i'm going to bring this one over and you can see I've already sort of edited this one into the bay here, but uh, if I zoom in, well, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to edit the this one right here, this section, okay? So what I do is I'm going to edit it with, uh, let's see, what do I want to edit it here? Let me close. I'm going to close out of there. I'm actually going to right-click on it. I'm going to hit edit. Okay, it's going to bring it up, and i gotta, I got to bring it over from the other screen here. So here you go. Here's what it looks like. Uh, when you can kind of zoom in on it and scroll through and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna sort of like I did here in a bay you're just gonna spray up some white uh, along the uh, you know what you want to unmask basically so basically uh, if this thing would just stay up right there okay um, so everything that's black here is just gonna get masked off right and if you zoomed in enough you'll see that the the coastline's a little fuzzy okay but we want to we want to see more of it because there's uh, there's good photo scenery there okay um so what you want to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to edit this but i'm going to edit it in um, a different 
a different utility here and I can't remember. Oh, here we go. Edit with 3D Paint. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to save the current one. It's going to open it up in my 3D Paint program. And you can use whichever one you want. So let me bring that over here. And this one, I just use this because it's easier. So I can zoom in here, right? Um, we can kind of scroll around here a little bit. Okay, that's good right there. Now I'm going to grab my spray can, okay, and for color, you're going to do white. Now you can change the size. You can see the circle there? That's how big it's going to spray, all right? And then you can change that, at least here on the thickness. You see you can make it bigger or smaller. Um, I'm going to make it right about that size, right? You can change the op 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 opacity or what I can never say that. Anyway. You know what I mean. I'm just going to leave that right there and see. And so we've selected white, matte, and if I start spraying over here, you can see how that, see, see I'm just going to spray that up. Matter of fact, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more opaque. Just let's, let's get all of this sprayed up. And what this does is you're almost removing your, well, that's what exactly what you're doing. You're removing the mask here, okay? Now, obviously, you want to take this file and make a backup out of it first, which I already did. Here's that little inlet right here that we were looking at. Let's go ahead and spray all of this. We're going to spray all this, just kind of get it all white. Here's the marina, remember? Uh, we're going to spray all this up, spray it, spray it. Get all of this up. Now I've got X-Plane running in the background here. It's just paused and you can you can do this uh, with X-Plane running. All right. And actually if you leave it kind of model, um, whatever, like not completely filled in, um, it actually makes it look a little bit better because sometimes the satellite image has got some weird sort of, you know, one color here, one color here, it, it kind of straight lines and things like that, which you don't want, okay? Now, if we look, if we remember, we looked back at our uh, tiles. Let's take a look at them again, right? And we had that one that had the jetty coming out. Where was it here? Let me go ahead and find that again uh, right here. Okay, so you could see that, uh, yeah, we've got some nice stuff right over here, a little bit of waves right there that we're getting cut off. Um, so I'm going to spray a little bit more right around the inlet here, right? Okay. Let's go back to our paint. So right around this inlet, we kind of want to go around, but I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, right? So we can get a little bit more finer detail through here, right? Just like that. I'm going to spray that. We're going to spray this one just like that. And we'll leave it like that. This is a, just an example here. Now, remember, I made a backup of this file. Um, so I, just in case you screw it up, you can always go back. And if you find that you kind of went a little bit too far, you can come back in here. Like if, if you're doing it along the coastline here, like I'll do a little bit right here. Why not? And uh, if you find that you went a little bit too far and it's sort of you're getting into something that doesn't look right, you can come back with black and just kind of keep touching that up and then put, put you know, take away the white a little bit. But we'll leave it, we'll leave it just like that, just kind of skim it along there. All right, so then we're going to save it. So I got to come over here. I got to save a copy, but first you're going to have to save it as the same file name. So I'm going to bring this up, right? I'm going to come over here. That's my file right there. I'm just going to grab the uh, the actual file name here and get the whole thing. Come on, there we go. All right, I'm going to copy that, and then we'll minimize that, and then we're going to save this. Uh, we're going to save a copy right here. We go. Just image. Right, and I've already selected the correct directory here, uh, just in case. Okay, and I'm just going to reselect the, the image right here. Re yes, I'm going to replace it. There we go. So now we've replaced it. There it goes. All right. Now I'm not even going to close this out yet. All right. Now we're going to we're going to turn off this display. Jump back into Flight Sim. Okay. And what we're going to do? Let me get this out of my way. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Okay. So here we go. This is what it looks like before we started, right? Let's take a look over here. You can see the inlet right here. Waves are kind of, see how the waves are getting cut off here and here, and especially the marina right here, good example right there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to a developer and I'm gonna reload, uh, reload the scenery. Okay, so it's gonna jump in here. It's gonna reload for a few, well, hopefully it goes pretty quick, but uh, once it reloads, um, we're still going to be in the same spot, and you'll be you'll be able to see the difference here. So we'll just pause here for a minute and let it reload. Now 
Now it's actually reloading on my screen. Um, so if you're just seeing the, the menu here, it is actually reloading on my screen here. And it'll jump back in as soon as it's done reloading the scenery. And while it's doing that, um, let's see, what can we talk about? Well, um, yeah, this is pretty simple to do. Um, just remember, you know, when you're editing the actual uh, files, you, know, you can always go back and forth if you do a little bit too much and it looks weird. Um, and then you come back and it's like, oh, wait, there's some, you know, because the, the actual satellite image sort of um, cuts off, you know, at the coastline and you get some weird line or something. You can come back there and spray around. If you go back to um, my playlists, um, take a look. I, I did um, sort of an example of the best I could through Key West. Um, take a look at my videos there. I think I'm flying a Cessna 172 or something around Key West where I, I went through and I kind of did this process through all of the tiles that I have in Key West. And uh, it, they came out looking pretty decent. Unfortunately, the, the actual satellite images, the tiles were... Um, there's a couple of them that were kind of hokey and that they didn't exactly catch the, uh, some of the islands and stuff, but I'd say probably like 90% of the Key West area came out looking real nice. So, um, and our, yeah, I see our screen changed here on OBS and we're still loading. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. So one thing I hate about X-Plane is it takes forever to load. All right, there we go. Now look at look at the difference here. Um, take a look at the marina. Look at it, it filled all of that in. Look at the uh, the inlet right here. Uh, this is actually the I think it's the San Diego River per se. Um, so we filled all of that in with all of that good stuff. You can see we got a couple lines over in this area, um, and that's where I say you can kind of go back and sort of just put a little black in here. Maybe soften these little edges right here, right? Um, let's 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 go over here. Look at that. There we go. Now we've got waves over here. This is a line from the satellite picture again. That's why I was kind of trying to stay away from it. But we we filled in the uh, we filled in the coastline here, so we got a little bit more wave action. You can see here we filled this in. We've got more waves there. Um, this is all now filled in, and you've got some murky water that's you know kind of whatever high tide, low tide coming in this way, um, all the way over there. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, look at that. You got all the boats in the marina over here that we were looking at before. All that, this is all filled in. You can see the coloring too. Looks pretty decent. And again, the satellite picture will have these little lines. So you got to kind of play around with it a little bit, um, you know, to try to eliminate that. So you kind of come over here and you might just spray a little bit uh, black through here just to kind of let it blend in those lines a little bit. Um, I'm kind of happy with this. I'm, I, I don't mind that. This isn't too bad. Um, but that's it. So that that's how you actually just edit those tiles, and especially this, and especially this marina before and after. Uh, that looks great right there. So hope you enjoyed that, and I hope it was uh, at least a little bit educational there. Sorry for the wait on the load time, but that's how you edit those, uh, those tiles along the coastline to make them look uh, much more realistic. And if we kind of look back this way, you can see I've done um, San Diego Bay also. So now we got all the marinas right through here. Uh, you got the marina all inside of here. A couple little lines here, but you'll, you'll also get boats with whatever's on the uh, satellite picture. You, you'll get it. So here's some boats going through. Um, you can kind of see I need to blend that just a little bit better over here because the, the picture kind of got a little uh, squared off right there. And there's a lot of squaring off like through this area here. So I only, I didn't spray it there. I actually left that sort of masked off. Um, but, you know, it doesn't look, doesn't look that bad. And actually, you know, we're off at, off at a distance here. Um, but the marina and everything right around here looks much better. All of this stuff I sprayed right here. And you can see you got the little boats in the marina right there and the docks and everything. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Um, hope it was educational. Uh, give a thumbs up. Uh, give a like, and uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. We'll do some more uh, X-Plane 11 videos here. Until next time, bye.